In this video, we will be talking about RNA polymerases. We'll be talking about the different types of RNA polymerases, as well as some little fun facts about how we use drugs to interfere with certain RNA polymerases. There are three types of RNA polymerases in eukaryotes, and there is one RNA polymerase in prokaryotes. So we'll first start off by talking about eukaryotic RNA polymerases. Let's remind ourselves that RNA polymerases take DNA and make RNA. You have many types of RNA, including ribosomal RNA, so that helps make up ribosomes. You have transfer RNA, which brings amino acids to the mRNA. And lastly, you have messenger RNA over here. In this video, we'll also mention a couple other types of RNA that you might not have heard about. Let's first start talking about the eukaryotic RNA polymerases. So the three are named RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 2, and RNA polymerase 3. Each of these make a different product. So RNA polymerase 1 makes the rRNA, and then that is the most common type and is found only in the nucleolus. The rRNA helps form essential ribosomal components. RNA polymerase 2 makes mRNA. So the mRNA is involved in protein synthesis. RNA polymerase II also makes microRNA, which causes gene silencing by degrading mRNA. So you can see that down here, microRNA binds to the messenger RNA and degrades it. And then lastly, RNA polymerase II also makes small nuclear RNA, which is involved in mRNA splicing as well as transcription regulation. RNA polymerase II also can open up the DNA at the promoter site to help with transcription. A little fun fact about RNA polymerase II is that there's a toxin called alpha manitin, which is found in the death cap mushrooms that inhibit RNA polymerase II, and it can cause severe liver toxicity if humans eat it. Now let's talk about RNA polymerase III. So RNA polymerase III makes 5S rRNA. So you could see that right there, 5-S-R-RNA, which is a component of the ribosome. And then it also makes tRNA, which is used to link codons to amino acids. One thing that I want to mention here is that it's important to note that RNA polymerase 3 makes the 5-S-R-RNA. So RNA polymerase 1 does not make all of the R-RNA in eukaryotes. Something interesting is that autoantibodies to RNA polymerase 3 can sometimes be seen in scleroderma, which is an autoimmune disease. It's important to note that with all of these RNA polymerases, there is no proofreading function. So that means the transcription is more likely to result in errors than DNA replication by DNA polymerase, which has proofreading. So RNA polymerase does not have proofreading while DNA polymerase does. If you have trouble remembering which RNA polymerase makes what, I like the fact that they are numbered in the same order that their products are used for protein synthesis. So it goes from rRNA in the nucleus, and then mRNA goes from the nucleus to the cytoplasm, where tRNA can interact with mRNA to make proteins. Another way you could remember it is that RNA polymerase 1 makes rRNA, RNA polymerase 3 makes tRNA as well as the 5S rRNA, and the rest is 2. So you might be wondering, how could this come up on a test? So they could point to the ribosome and they could ask which RNA polymerase was most likely involved in the production of the components of this organelle. And the answer would be RNA polymerase 1 because it's involved in making rRNA, which makes up ribosomes. Now that we have covered eukaryotic RNA polymerase, Prokaryotic RNA polymerase is much easier. They only have one RNA polymerase that makes all three kinds of rRNA. And since you see here that the ribosomes are slightly different, we can use drugs to kind of target prokaryotic ribosomes and not affect our ribosomes. Some examples are rifampin, which is a drug used to treat tuberculosis that inhibits the DNA-dependent RNA polymerase in prokaryotes. Another drug is rifaximin, which interferes with RNA polymerase and is sometimes used for traveler's diarrhea to inhibit bacterial RNA synthesis. Let's quickly sum up the important facts. 
so eukaryotes have three RNA polymerases while prokaryotes have one. We use these differences to create drugs that can kill prokaryotes without affecting us too much. Each RNA polymerase in eukaryote makes a different product. RNA polymerase 1 makes rRNA, RNA polymerase 2 makes mRNA, microRNA, and snRNA. RNA polymerase 3 makes 5S rRNA as well as tRNA. Thank you for watching this video, and if you got this far, please give this video a like. Comment below with questions or if you want us to make a video on a different topic. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a future video.